DefenderForest.com What's up dudes, it's Broccoli Howard here, and thank you for watching my totally amazing, totally quality intro that it took me hours to make. Um, as you can see from the title of this video, I will be talking about the claw style of holding your video game controller. Um, claw is mainly used in first person shooters on PlayStation and Xbox, as it can help you multitask very well. But I have also heard of and seen it used on GameCube controllers for Super Smash Bros. Melee and Brawl. Um, so, why do people claw? People claw for a few reasons. Like, like in the game Destiny, which is my favorite game and I play it 90% of the time that I'm playing video games. The buttons are key, like, it is very useful for pressing those buttons while aiming around. For instance, if you're jumping and aiming, it's an effective way to make the other player miss a lot more shots as you hose them down accurately with your balls of lead. That sentence was not meant to be taken dirty, so keep your mind out of the gutter, alright? It can also help you in games such as Trials of Olagus, where reviving and shooting at the same time is something that can help you very very frequently in gunfights so from what I've said clawing sounds like it is the solution to all of the world's problems it'll cause world peace it'll get rid of all the terrorist attacks everything like do you need to revive and shoot just claw do you need to jump and aim claw did you forget your anniversary is today and your wife is coming home in 10 minutes claw there's a few catches that I didn't previously mention a lot of people believe that it will cause arthritis and other joint pains in your right index finger as you are bending it in a very unnatural fashion. But, personally, I've been clawing for as long as I can remember. Maybe seven or eight years, somewhere around there. And I have ha experienced no finger pain. Maybe it's because I'm a l young little whippersnapper, but you never know. So, people believe that it will have lasting effects on your hands. But I did my research, um, in place of doing my homework for school, I did my research for, uh, video games. Anyways, I did my research and found out that lasting effects are rare and far between with clawing. But, if it's hurting, just stop doing it. Because if you're gonna switch to it, it'll take maybe one to two months to get adjusted, but if it's hurting really bad, it's not worth it. Just don't do it. Don't hurt yourself. Um, so, the alternatives to learning to play Claw are two that I could think of. One of them was just suck it up, buttercup, and play it regularly. Play it traditionally. That will not put you at a disadvantage to 90% of the players which are the other 90% that do not play claw or have a scuff controller, which leads me into the next alternative. Buying a scuff controller. Scuff controllers are nice, I've heard. I've never had one because I'm poor. And the issue with scuff controllers is they can cost upwards of a small loan of a million dollars. Um... Not really, the most expensive ones I found were a few hundred. Anyways, um, so to conclude, Claw, if you're willing to and able to do it, then it is a very, very useful and viable strategy of holding the controller. But if you can't do it and you aren't willing to do it, then why are you on this video? Anyways, it's that simple. I came up with that simple of a conclusion. What were you expecting from this video? A well-made argument? Honestly, I can't even do a proper outro.